Hi Vogue, it's Alexa Demi. I'm gonna be doing a little 90s nude glam, but I'm gonna start with some skincare. So I always like to start with a really clean face, um, whether that's cleansing my face or using a wipe. Just wanna get any like excess like oil or anything that like built up throughout the day. So after I cleanse my face, I like to use a little hydrating mist. I'm obsessed with Eminence. It's all organic and it's made out of vegetables and you know flowers, botanicals. It's just all natural. Spray it on my face. It's also really refreshing. So after I use the hydrating mist, I like to use a little bit of serum under my primer. My mom's a makeup artist and she's big on skin. So like my entire life, I would just hear, wash your face, wash your face, wash your face, like every night. My great grandmother really got her into like um, creams and serums at a really young age. So she's always been really, really good about sharing all of those products with me. So I'm really, I mean, skin is like number one for me. So after I do my serum, I like to use the Dior Backstage Primer foundation. I like to use a fluffy brush. I used to use a sponge, but I kind of, I like the feel of a fluffy brush and I like to kind of work it in my skin without it being too heavy. So my mom, I mean, I grew up watching her do makeup. I remember she, she had to, she was working at Mac and she had to do like a 10 minute editorial look. So she brought me and I was like 12 years old and she did the craziest, most beautiful like editorial look on me and I loved it, I didn't want to take it off. But she's really good at eyes and she's all about blending. So my like my whole life she's always been like blend, blend, blend. She doesn't really like harsh lines. To bring it down into my neck. Sam, the creator of Euphoria, he's really into makeup and I made like three extensive mood boards for my look, for Maddie and the makeup artists were so wonderful and like so collaborative so it was really fun because we got to kind of work together on each look and I would always do my own wing because that's kind of like my my signature thing but now I'm gonna go in and use my NARS concealer I always bring it up and around the eye just to have that have that base for my eyeshadow and I bring it around my nose. Whenever I'm looking at inspiration, I like to look at a lot of old, um, like 90s, 60s, 70s editorial. Um, I kind of like, I sometimes don't even look up makeup, I just kind of look up the, the editorial and then I look a lot at like Cher and different artists from back in the day. And I kind of like to, not like just recreate it completely, but just take pieces from each of those pictures and kind of do my own thing. Growing up in middle school and high school in LA, like I always had my hair slicked and I had my little baby hair and my gold jewelry and especially like, I don't know, it's just within my culture. So I think for sure LA has influenced my look. My mom's influenced it a lot in the sense that growing up I had like fashion magazines surrounding me. I like to bake under my eye while I do my eyeshadow. So I just use the sponge. This has a flat end. I love baking. I, I don't bake anywhere else on my face. I just, under the eye, I think it helps when you're doing your eyeshadow too. It just, if anything falls, it's really, you can take it off really easily. Also I have really hollow eyes and I just feel like this kind of like, I don't know, brightens me up. It looks crazy, but it works. I'm gonna use just like a little bit of a creamy nude. And I like to tap it into the eye. I'm gonna go into my crease with a slightly darker color. And I'm gonna take this color here and work in my crease. And I'll go in after this with a different brush and blend out even more. I think my character in the show is like, is like an elevated version of my high school makeup. I definitely started doing my wing really early on. I think in like middle school. And I was just all about like a wing 
and a lot of lip gloss. And with Maddie, I think we really, we really went there with the looks. I go in with a little bit of this Pat over, Pat McGrath over the Dior. I know 90s is always like just matte, but I've been really into all of the glittery eyeshadows right now. So this one has a little bit of brown and gold. Okay, after I do all that, I like to go back in and do my lid. I'm still blending because I don't want my mom to yell at me. I'm going to pop a little bit more of this. Pat McGrath glitter on the lid. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight under the brow. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put it right under the eyebrow. So I'm gonna come back to the eyeshadow, but I wanna start the wing. So I see this Pat McGrath pen. And I kinda just, I start at the on the outer corner of my eye. I like a really like pointed. I don't like it like too curled up too. I I don't know. It's kind of just I don't, I've done it. My I just follow my eye here, but I just it needs to be really pointy. So I kind of just start like that, and then I always get a Q-tip and I just. I bring the inner corners in to give me that like fierce jaguar look. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I used to hate blush because my mom was so obsessed with blush. She would put so much blush on me and I would always say no blush like before she would do my makeup and now I'm, I'm I love blush. And she would always say smile. I bring it up a little bit into the hairline. So I use this Dior um, contour palette. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. And I bring it up into the cheek just a little bit. So now that I've done my contour, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. I just like to lightly dust. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Dior highlighter. I'm gonna blend these two. That's cute. It's been great working with Zendaya. I think like that's been one of the best parts about filming is that we all instantly connected. Cause I think we both really love makeup. We both love like dressing up and glam. So I think we both get really excited about each other's looks. So I'm gonna go in, I'm huge. I don't ever not wear lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with this Dior lip liner and sometimes I even layer lip liners, which I think I might do today. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brown. I recreated a Marilyn Monroe look once and I, I just looked up like her makeup artist's process and apparently they would layer like seven different reds on her lip. So I did that. I layered a lot of reds, it looks good. I think the pilot of Euphoria was the only episode that they didn't line my lips and it kills me. Now I'm going in with a, a light nude. Okay, so now that I've done the nude lipstick, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a brown gloss. Growing up, and my mom always had, she would always kill the 90s look, so she would always have her lip liner and her nude lip. And I've just always been drawn to like, you know, the 90s supermodels and editorials, and I think I've just, it's like my signature thing that I've just become obsessed with. I'm layering another gloss on top of that this Dior Lip Maximizer, just to give it a little something in the center. My nails are not acrylic, they're soft gels, and I have I think I've had long nails since middle school. So I've had my wing and my nails 
It's always like just my thing. Oh, my brows. I can't forget my brows. So I don't fill in my brows. Um, not because I don't like it, I just really don't know how. And I've kind of just, I've for like three years I didn't do anything to my brows and I recently got them like shaped. So it's, it's new for me, but I just like to do brow gel. Like I can't go anywhere without my brow gel. And I like to brush them up and out. Mascara. I recently got eyelash extensions and you're not supposed to put mascara, but I'm, I'm, I just, I have to. I'm addicted to mascara. I always do this and fan my lashes and everybody always laughs at me. I love playing Maddie. I, I, she really, you know, I keep saying like she really pulled me out of my comfort zone in a lot of ways. Cause it was the first time I feel like, well not the first time, but with her, since we worked on it for so long, I was able to kind of like really get into her and grow with her and you know, she would piss me off sometimes with some of her decisions. She's bold, I think she's dealing with a lot of emotional trauma at home and so a lot of her decisions are, you know, they're not the smartest, but she's doing the best that she can. It was also super fun because it was the first time I had a character where I got to play with makeup and play with outfits and be so involved in that process. Honestly, I love seeing everybody's reactions. I love seeing everybody's like memes and tweets. It's so funny. So I'm just, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm relieved. You know, we shop for a really long time. So I'm just relieved that it's out and now people can just take it in. When I read the script, I was like, this all makes sense and I want to do it 100%. The nudity was, it was tough for me because I'm, you know, I'm not really, I'm just not comfortable like that publicly, so it was hard for me, but it definitely, like I said, it pulled me out of my comfort zone, and after I did it and watched it, and it's, it's just, it's not that serious. Um, and I think everything that we do in the show, it, it, we're not like glorifying it. I think we also show all the consequences, and yeah, I mean, it's been getting like a really good response, so I think we, I think, I think we did what? what we came to do. I think the look is done. Mm. So now I'm just gonna set it with that same hydrating mist that I used in the beginning, just to kind of let it all get into the skin. <sighs> it smells good. So this is my final look. Thank you for watching and hopefully you tune in before you. Yeah.